What's up team, it's Sherman here from Geek Psychology. So we have a new little system I'm trying out here. And basically I, I wanna ask a question. The question today is, what are your superpowers? Like what makes you strong? What makes you unique in a situation? What makes you and your skill set right to solve a problem? And like, what is that problem? So here we go. This is my story, but I want to go through my own version of it, a couple of the different things that I feel um, <laughs> good about myself, and then kind of how those are our superpowers, how those are strengths of mine. And then I want to hear yours in the comments. So we're like super up close and personal here. <laughs> it's a little bit awkward for me, but here we go. Um, so with within my skill set, um, as an INFP and just as myself <laughs> with my experiences, I do want to try to tailor this to the the personality type realm of things. But I think that um, one of my big strengths, something that I bring to a situation is my conscience. Um, I've, I've been in several situations and had many, many comments from friends like, how did you, you know, how did you refrain from that? How, why, like, how, like, how do you have that power, that strength to not give in in a situation like that? And I'm not going to go into too much depth about it, but um, I mean, I, I've failed, I suppose. I've had my mistakes, but really one thing that leads me, that drives me is my conscience. And yes, as an INFP, introverted feeling, that empath side of myself is the dominant energy. And so, yes, it does lead a lot of my life. It is my <laughs> my primary way of making decisions is to look at it through, you know, who would I be if I made this choice? And is that a good thing? That's, is it going to reflect on me in a way that I feel is good? And another one is encouraging. I feel that I have put myself into many positions where I, I've, I've tried to save people, right? People come to me and they're, they're lost, they're asking questions, they need support. Um, this is not through YouTube necessarily. This is just in my own personal life. And I do my best to encourage people. And I, I hate so much when people say, I can't do it. I can't do this. I suck at this. I'm stupid. I'm dumb. I don't know what those birds are saying, but it might be that they won't shut up. Maybe the birds are gone. If you think that you can't do something, then you are going to set yourself up to not be able to do it. If you think that you're dumb, you're going to fulfill that prophecy yourself. And so when anybody says that they can't do that, it just drives me crazy. It's like, no, you can do it. You just haven't set yourself up to do it yet. Like you haven't committed to it enough. If you really want it, you will find a way to do it. And, you know, that doesn't mean that... Um, we can do everything necessarily. Like I'm not trying to be too idealistic with this, but if you want it bad enough, you'll find a way. And if you get rid of all the the internal obstacles and the negative voices, and you work on that intentionally, then you'll find a way to to make it happen, right? I've people who I've like dated before now live in other countries, travel the world and things like that, because that was something that they had a, a drive for. And they were afraid to do it. And as as me trying to be a role model in a sense, like modeling that that energy and that ability to live in another country and to try your best and do things like that, I feel that I've given them um, the inspiration and encouragement to do that. And also um, just general caring and consideration. I have, you know, I've been living in Japan for like 11 years right now. And 
so many times people have been like, are you, are you Japanese? Like you, you act like a Japanese person. And what they're, they're trying to get at when they're saying that usually <laughs> is that I am not extremely loud and overwhelming in any way, right? And also like I'm, I'm generally considerate of the people around me. Like I don't want to cause harm to somebody else, right? I don't want my actions to um, displace somebody else especially physically like i i hate cutting people off like walking in front of them and stuff like that like i'm always waiting for them to go by you know if i think that would make things better for them because that's what i would want if i was in that situation and yeah i think anybody can have that skill but i do feel that introverted feeling has um, brought some of that to the table because i'm constantly trying to put myself into another person's shoes another person's position and say like well if i had this happen to me then i would want somebody to do this for me right i've talked about that in this channel before like if uh somebody drops some trash in the convenience store or something like that like the person that has to clean that up that sucks for them yes that's their job but why would you why would you say that and then let it just happen like if you had that job for whatever like string of events that brought you into that position then you would want somebody to have some consideration for that as well also forgiveness um, i feel that i am extremely forgiving for most things like if somebody does something that's that's harmful um, i generally try to trust that they have the best intention with their motives like that was what they thought the best choice was in their situation and so i'm likely to give them another chance and that's that's come at some detriment as well like i've given people too many chances and i've been kind of walked over for that and you know, i've been in danger like i've had my life threatened i've had many different experiences like that and it's because of this forgiving and kind of naive nature but i want to look at it on a on a bright side right like the ability to just be like no i i've i could see how i would do that if i were in a similar position and i will let it slide right it does i'm not necessarily as forgiving with myself but uh, that's another another video i suppose and um general idealistic nature it's an nf thing i suppose um but yeah like i am constant i spent so much time just assuming that the best things would happen to me and a lot of really great things have because i've i feel i've possibly you know had good luck but also because i'm trying to strive for some some higher uh, experience or i'm just trying to be a very good person myself that um, it will work out in the end like all the good karmic deeds right like like if i'm a good person then good things will happen to me those are some of the different aspects of myself that i feel are are strengths kind of superpowers sure i'm not talking necessarily about like shooting lasers out of my eyes although i can do that um it's just like these are the things <laughs> that uh i feel are important to know about me and especially I, I do feel that infps in general probably have a lot of this we all have our different blends our different mixes of this um, cognitive cocktail but um, I do, I think that a lot of us would share these, these labels, these tags, these superpowers, whatever you want to call them. So how about for you? What are your superpowers? What are your strengths? What, if someone were to ask you to describe yourself and give a few key words, what would they be? What can you be proud about yourself about? <laughs> Like, you know, like this is something that I bring to the table here. Like if the group is, is lacking a conscience for whatever reason, like I'm 
I'm going to be the one that's in there and that's, that's saying, no, this is not something we should do. Right? I'm not going to bring other skills, and that's fine. Like, we all have our abilities and our strengths and our weaknesses that we bring to the party, the, the team, whatever it is. So down below in the comments, if you could, um, if you could write your type, just because it might, you know, other people from that type might resonate well with it. And then a list of maybe a couple words that you really feel resonate or make sense for you as your strengths, your superpowers. And if you really want to do it, like like I've done it on the website and stuff, um, you can you can get super geeky on it and bring out the games and stuff like that too. That's fine. That's Honestly, that's what I would prefer in a lot of ways, but uh, you don't have to do that. It's up to you. All right, so good luck, have fun. Keep up the lifelong questing. Peace.